So a Terra mountain bike trail consists of A, B, C, and D trail systems where you have to go through trail A to get to trail B, to get to trail C, to get to trail D, and then also work your way back the same way. I took a beautiful Friday morning and biked the A, B, and C sections of these trails and would have tried to do D, but you have to remember that once you get out there, you got to get your way back. So after about an hour and a half to two hours of biking, I thought I'd better head back before I ran out of energy, but it was a great day. July 24th, 2021. And now this looks like Trail A. Not sure where I'm going. Overall, I'd rate these trails as a hard green or a blue. They were pretty flowing. There were some tough uphills. Uh, one problem was it was wet in the morning and there were a lot of roots you had to watch out for. I slipped a few times and almost went down but managed to stay upright. Beat. As mentioned before, I did trails A, A2, B, and C, and I really can't say one was any harder than the other. A2 is probably the easiest, but they do circle around, so halfway around like B, you get on to C, then C comes around, halfway around C, you can get on to D, D goes out and comes back, but again, I didn't do D because I was too tired. Overall, really nice trail system and fairly easy for anybody that's uh, in the mountain bike.
Oh, nice trail. Squirrel. Uh, it's a little close for call. Also, I did have Verizon cell phone service and use the uh, app Trail Forks, to which I have uh, membership to, and it did allow you to see where you were because I did get turned around a few times and wasn't sure which direction to go. And the Trail Forks app really did help. Uh, and it was accessible throughout the day. Both B and C had areas where there were, it's nice going downhill and nice and flowing, but then you paid for it. You had several long, hard climbs. There was even one spot that I had to get off and hike a bike for a while because it was just too steep for me to try and make it to the top.
I hope to go back someday and do D, but by the time I got halfway around C, I could tell I was getting tired and realized I still had as far to go back as I'd already biked. Getting old is not that much fun. See, now we're back on B. A lot of reprieve from the roots. Spoke too soon. Off of this A loop, right before you got back to where the access road was to the trailhead, there was what they called an A2 loop that I took. It was fairly easy. Unfortunately, my GoPro battery died just as I was about to start it. But so you have A, A2, B, C, and D. And the A2 loops back and brings you back on A just about, probably about 100 yards from the access trail that takes you back to the trailhead. It was a great day of biking, and I really appreciate you watching. Get out there and enjoy Soterra Mountain Bike Trails.